Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Owen Ogletree again with Brewtopia.info and Carrie Allen of BeerWinch.info. And we're excited that this is the second week of Chops and Hops uh, Take Home Beer Dinners, which is a super idea. And we loved last week so much. It was, it was a great fun to take these four courses home and enjoy them with four different fantastic Georgia beers. If you live anywhere near Watkinsville, Georgia or Athens, Georgia, you can call Chops and Hops starting on April 19th for, for the coming week. And you can let them know any day of the week when you call. You can say, hey, I want to come on Thursday and pick up my four courses and my four beers and take them home and enjoy them. And you pay in advance. You pull up and they bring them out, put them in your, in your trunk or whatever. No contact and you go home and you've got a great, great, beautiful beer dinner at home to enjoy from Chops and Hops, a great gastropub. In the area, so um, and and it's and it's not very expensive. It's forty bucks a person, which includes four por four courses and four beers, or seventy dollars for two people. So we hope you'll take advantage of it. Call Chops and Hops anytime between April nineteenth um, and twenty fourth, and tell them what day you want to come pick up your dinner, and they'll have it ready for you. And I'm going to start, right? Yep. Okay. So course number one is a um, apricot, shea Brussels sprouts, walnut, and blue cheese salad. They come in these nice little microwavable bowls, which is handy. You don't want to microwave your salad, of course, but it's, it's very, very handy. This looks so beautiful. It looks so um, tart and fruity and tasty. And fresh. And fresh. It should be fantastic. These are all Georgia beers we picked. There's also a wine option if you want to ask Chops and Hops about their wine option, or just go to Chops and Hops website and scroll down and you'll see the take home beer and wine dinners and you can find all the information right there. We chose to go with this nice, uh, tart, refreshing spring salad. We chose a uh, Dry County uh, La Chusa. This is a Mexican premium style uh, Mexican lager, sort of like a Corona, but with a lot more flavor. So it's gonna be more malty, it's gonna be more honey-like um, and it's going to uh, go really, really well with this uh, really complex salad with all these nice earthy things, fruity things, and citrusy tart things in there. And uh, beer is such a good combination with food. It, you, you can pick a beer to go with anything. So we're excited to try this combination here. And Carrie has got the second one. All right, so for course two, we have these beautiful little like baby bellas. They're stuffed with a uh, sage turkey sausage. You guys can see that. Um, with a little bit of greens on there. Um, we're actually pairing that with um, Reformation's uh, Cadence, which is a Belgian-style double. This is a darker, um, malty Belgian-style beer with flavors of toffee, figs, a little bit of clove, Belgian candy sugar. Um, the caramel notes will probably pair really well with the, the turkey sausage, the, those earthy notes from the sausage and the mushrooms. Um, as well as the lettuce in the, um, the dish also brightening up and, and uh, contrasting to those flavors. So I think this is going to be a really good pairing. Um, can't wait to try it. We both love mushrooms and turkey sausage, so we're very excited about this one. And then course three is a cucumber feta fried watermelon. I don't, we haven't tried it yet, so we don't know how fried watermelon is going to work out, but it sounds interesting, mm -hmm. um, with pickled shrimp. And the chef, when I picked these up today, was very curious about, I hope you're going to like that, um, that entree because uh, she worked really hard at it. And it sounds like it is going to be pretty delicious if you like shrimp and like seafood. So cucumber feta, fried watermelon bites, and pickled shrimp. And for this, we chose a local Athens brewery. This is Southern Brewing Company um, uh, Fog Machine Hazy IPA. Um, I kind of figure that this would have a lot of, um, of, of spicy notes and pickled shrimp is going to give you that little tartness. Uh, the watermelon will be kind of fruity. And so we wanted a soft, fruity beer to go with it. And then this hazy IPA from Southern Brewing Company has the hops added pretty much very, very late. So it's not going to be a very bitter beer. It's going to um, provide a, a nice little soft, creamy mouthfeel and some floral, fruity, citrusy hop flavor that I think will pair very well with the um, with the pickled shrimp. Makes it kind of tropical. Yeah, it's like a tropical uh, party in a bowl and a can. And lastly, 
All right, the last, of course, is the dessert course, which is always fun. Um, this is a strawberry cobbler, if you can see that. And I've put, um, it comes with a chocolate-covered strawberry and homemade whipped cream. Um, it looks absolutely little cute and delicious. Um, we're actually pairing this one with Erin Gobra, which is an Irish coffee porter. Um, this is um, from Jekyll Brewing Company. Um, you know, with strawberries being light and sweet and then having the sweetness from the whip, the, the homemade whipped cream and the chocolate-covered strawberry, a nice little coffee, chocolatey beer with a little bit of toffee and brown sugar there should go complement the, the brightness of the strawberries and the sweetness of uh, the other ingredients in that dessert. And, oh, my God, it sounds so delicious. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And this one has a little, it's a porter, and it's not very strong, so it's not going to overwhelm the, the cobbler, I, I think. And it's got a little bit of coffee in there. And if you can see, their slogan is a warm hug in a can. It's from our good friends at Jekyll Brewing in Georgia. And we all could use a hug right now, I'm oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys stay safe. Um, I know that your meals at home are, are the highlight of your day when you're when you're at home all day in quarantine. So this is a fun way to just uh, you know kick things up a notch and have fun. So call Chops and Hops this week starting on Sunday, and let them know what day you want to come by and pick up your uh, four course beer dinner or your wine dinner if you're mm -hmm. if you like to wine. Some people like to wine. So um, we're, we're very happy to be doing this and enjoying, uh, spreading, spreading the good word of Chops and Hops and enjoying uh, the food that they're provided for. And thanks, so. Ariel, for being so, such a creative chef and Andrew for coming up with this idea because I think it's mm -hmm. absolutely brilliant. And to the whole Chops and Hops <laughs> staff, we love yeah. you guys. So uh, um, give them some love and, and try, the, try the dinner. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.